Yo, what is going on guys? It's Mikey Virus. I almost forgot my name. Anyways, uh, today we we're playing this Goblin Giant deck. It's really, really popular, and I don't know why. I just don't like it. There's something about it that I don't like. I don't know what that is, but yeah, this is the last day I'm recording behind. Um, or, yeah, like recording in advance. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, this is the last day for that. It I messed up on my last video, thinking that that was the last one, but I needed one more. Um, so this video should be coming out on Sunday. So starting Monday, we'll be back to regularly recording and uploading on the same day. Um, he still needs to play something for the Little Prince, so we might get a lot of damage. Yep, we're going to. So it's not going to be that much, because how long it takes to speed up now, but it's still quite a bit, and the Archer's got a ton of damage, so... Yeah, I kind of just want to wait for the Little Prince ability, so I'm going to Goblin Giant to tank first. Yeah, pretty obvious ability. We can now Goblins on it. Um, but yeah, there's also a version of this deck running Bats, which is good as well. Probably better, honestly. Um, I always feel so awkward with Fishermen, um, just because I don't like cycling it behind, because then they can cycle things like Bowler into it and just get a ton of damage that way. Um, I've seen that done before, or like Executioner, stuff like that. Which is really, really annoying. Or their win condition into it, right? Um, which is also not good. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just a bad fisherman player. Not to say that it's anything wrong with the deck. Um, I'm just bad with it. One of these will definitely connect. At least we stopped one of them, I guess. I don't know, small victories. But, yeah. I've seen this deck was, like, super huge in popularity. See if this hits the ice golem. Yeah, it does. Especially with the bowler knockback. Um... But yeah, you'll probably see this deck all over the place. It's got insane usage rate just out of nowhere. I'm just gonna rage to be sure all these day. Yep, that could have been scary. And he tried to log goblins, I guess? I don't really know what he was trying to get there. Probably should have bullard. Um, pretty big misplay. But one thing I'm noticing is that Evo archers aren't working. <laughs> I must not have them in the right slot. It does run Evo archers. Obviously a little better defensively. Um... Did I take the lightning at the miner and hit the little prince? Huge value lightning there, so yeah, and the ice him won't be able to tank for anything. So that worked out great. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that he was going to go all in here. It's not gonna work out for him though, unfortunately. Um the fisherman even took tower. I don't know that I've ever seen fishermen take tower, like honestly. That's pretty crazy. You can stop it with anything. But yeah, so Evo Archers aren't working. We still managed to win, so that's good. We pick both towers, actually. Yeah. Anyways, GG's to this guy. Pretty, pretty decent first game. And yeah, we'll see what's going on with Evo Archers, see if I put him in the wrong slot. And yeah, just get into the second match of the video. Alright, so here I am, and you can see that we have archers in the right slot, it just doesn't work. But it works when you put any other evos in, but for some reason evo archers just isn't in the classic challenge, which is really weird. So, I don't know what's up with that, but you can see I have evo archers, they're just not working in the classic challenge, so that's really, really weird. I don't know why that is, but I guess I'll just play 1v1s until that fixes. Alright, next match here, and we're back into 1v1s because, uh... Eve Archers is glitched, so that's really weird. I haven't even seen like anybody like say anything about that or anything. Maybe it's always like that when new Evos come out for like the first season. I don't know, but that's that's weird. I was gonna do classic challenges, um, just because I don't really feel like spending the gems on grand challenges, and you know, it's still pretty much the same thing. Anyways, um, not sure what this guy's running at all. Cannon. Minion, or Mega Minion's weird. And Miner. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I kind of panicked Little Prince, but... Oh well, at least we don't have to tank the full... thing there. Uh, I'm just gonna... Um, archers and then Bowler. Or Cycle Archers and then Bowler. Yeah. Well, that's kind of awkward. It might not do too much damage because of the Archer... Yeah, at least takes out one fully, so I'm not too upset about that. He arrows just a one single archer, but I guess he can get away with it because we don't have a way to kill Mega Minion. So I guess well played. Um, 
But yeah, fine if that gets a hit or two. Just because he has more damage in the other lane. I don't mind splitting damage. Uh, I assume it won't go to a two tower situation. I really do want to save up for lightning and hopefully hit the cannon plus something else. Just get a cycle fisherman here. Maybe we can grab something. It's gonna go lava hound, so I'm just gonna evo archers and rage. Fortunately, the rage doesn't hit the evo archers. It would be really nice if it did. But we do have a raged fisherman actually doing a lot of damage. And the evo archers just take tower. Yeah, arrows doesn't kill those, unfortunately. See if we can defend though, it's not gonna be super easy. I'm gonna tank for the little prince with the bowler though, just to make sure the little prince can definitely get with the lava hound and some of the pups. Just get a goblin giant, um, try to apply some pressure. Just gonna take the lightning, it's actually a terrible lightning, but we'll see how much damage we can get. He did the lava hound, so it's gonna be close to tower. And with arrows, it's still 712. That's not great. And that... Eh, let's see, he has to defend that. Um, pretty bad archers on my end. Uh, we might throw here. <laughs> he was able to get a miner down in time, so we might be throwing. We definitely need to get back to one of our air troops. We will get the little prince down. Hopefully it stops too much damage. But yeah, we're, we're like trying to throw. Can bowler for the barb, so that's not that big of an issue. Definitely have to watch out for the balloon. That's almost surely gonna come through soon. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty obvious he wasn't gonna minor the other tower, so pretty easy read. Let's just eh, will this be able to sh completely shut it down? It looks like it will. That damage isn't good. We just need to, like a few spear goblin hits, and yeah, we got it. Wow, I almost threw. That was almost the biggest choke in the world. <laughs> I don't know how I played that so poorly. I guess that's pretty impressive. Anyways, GG's to this guy. Uh, I played it really bad, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I feel so weird not playing, like, ranked or anything, but... It's just... Uh, using an underleveled little prince just doesn't feel good. You know, I don't want to put money into the game, I also don't want to die to Fireball. Or who knows, two levels under leveled, you might die to even more than that. Thought about taking the Lightning, but I'm not sure it's worth. Could try to kite the Knight there. The Goblins for the Miner. Uh, that Little Prince is going to do a decent amount of damage, but at least the... Uh, uh, that wasn't as much damage as I thought, to be honest. Debatable to drop a rage here and end, but that seems like a bit of an overcommit. We still have one archer alive. That one archer, is he gonna put in work? It looks like it under 2k. I'll take that for sure. What was this guy running, by the way? Did I, did I forget already? I always forget what people played so far. We've seen Ice Wizard, Little Prince, I remember those things. Minor wall breakers with I don't know, it's a really weird minor wall breakers deck with Ice Wizard. Definitely didn't expect that. Pretty obvious. <coughs> yeah, leash. Pretty obvious that little prince was gonna be in the deck. It's in every deck that exists. So that doesn't tell us anything. Um, well this is gonna be not the easiest thing in the world to defend with one air card. Uh two air cards, I bet. But we'll see. Evo Archer's really got to put in some work. We still have one alive. That should be plenty. It's going to take out the Little Prince. So yeah, that was actually really good. We'll see what side he responds to. That one Evo Archer is going to do a decent amount. No, it actually, it's going to KO the Ice Wiz, so I'll take that. I was going to drop a Rage, but it didn't need to. And look at that. It stays alive and gets two shots, so that was crazy. Pretty happy about that. Hey, now this guy gets to watch his friend probably lose. Unless I throw as hard as I did last game. Yoinked it before it got a shot. I made the bowler get embarrassed too. He's probably crying. That was that was embarrassing for him. Just gonna cycle the lightning on the little prince, and since we're only one more lightning away, gonna cycle the rage on that. That way he doesn't KO my bowler. <laughs> and he stopped it before it crossed, so 
I will take that all day. He's pretty hard misplaying it, but we don't really have a great answer to this. Somehow we got caught with the minor. We kind of minored our little prince right into him, but... Oh well, didn't really expect it to be on that side, so I guess you could call that a read. I don't know that it was or wasn't, so... It's really no saying. Just gonna cycle the lightning here, and that will be GG's, so... Pretty interesting deck that was guy was that guy was running. If I could talk, but yeah, we still picked up the the victory and GG's to that guy. And I will see you guys in the fourth and final match of the video. Alrighty, final match here against Enriquez with the knight on his banner. I still have the hog rider, the 2.6 stuff on my banner. Imagine if we caught that. That would have been amazing, but we didn't. Luckily we, well, I guess we can Fisherman here, that's pretty safe. Can Bowler for that barrel. Logbait is kind of an awkward matchup because we don't really have anything for it. And I had to choose to either hit the barrel or hit the little prince, so... Oh, we're gonna activate King Tower, maybe. <laughs> that's such a cool activation. <laughs> I've never seen that before. But yeah, if you Fisherman and they pop ability, you can definitely activate King Tower with it. So unfortunately we're not running E-Giant or else that thing would be getting reset like crazy. But the bowler should still get some damage if he doesn't play anything for it. One shot. Oh, it's out of range after one shot. We almost activated their King Tower. Which would have been equally as awkward. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Pretty cool that we activated King with that. Might help, depending on what their win condition is. Did we see a win condition? I always- I'm forgetting again. Oh yeah, it's Goblin Barrel. Yeah, so it is gonna help. <coughs> Slug bait. I guess that's probably the proper way to say that. Force out a knight with the ability, because we caught the Ice Spirit, which is really nice. If they- Little Prince, yeah, we can either a Lightning, or we can Bowler. Uh, I guess we should have waited. I'll just take the Rage, hopefully. It won't do too much. Got a goblin surround. And yeah, he didn't pop ability right away. Maybe he expected a fisherman or something. Not sure if the bowler will lock onto the tower or the princess. I would prefer the princess. Oh, it hits the princess still. That's clutch. We don't have a way to kill these, by the way, but we definitely can't get hit. So, can't play anything on it. And their action I used to always mess up. Eh, we get the lightning down, we're in a good spot. Oh, when we hit the little prince. What a prediction, Lightning. That was definitely a prediction and not just an Inferno Tower reset. <laughs> Everything possible could, not, could go wrong went wrong for this guy. He got accidentally predicted. He got his King Tower activated by ridiculous means. I mean, I just feel bad for him. Get the goblins off to the side. Got the Evo Archers, and yeah, there's not really any way he breaks through at this point. It's gonna go in with the Goblin Giant to tank for that Evo Archer. Not that it really matters, but yeah. Um, GG's to this guy. I honestly feel kind of bad. So, interesting log bait deck. Yeah, I'm trying to think what it. It's no Goblin Gang. Goblin Gang for Little Prince, so. Yeah. GG's to that guy. I respect trying to run log bait. And yeah. I guess I can go show you the deck, though you probably know it already. Or the link is in the description as well. I always put the Royal APIs. But yeah, there it is. Pretty strong. Getting really, really popular. And yeah, feel free to try it out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.